The Islamic call to prayer, also known as the Adhan, is made five times every day in order to invite Muslims to pray to the one and only God, Allah. The call to prayer is non-stop across the globe, beginning in one region as it finishes in another. As Muslims, it is important that we understand the history behind it, as well as its beautiful meaning. But most importantly, we should understand the first phrase of the Adhan, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar simply means God or Allah is the greatest. Allah is greater than anyone or anything. Nothing exists on earth or in the heavens that is greater than Allah. But simply accepting that fact doesn't do justice to the true greatness of Allah. In order to really understand how great, how powerful, and how magnificent Allah really is, let's take a look at His creation. Starting with one of the smallest of His creations, the building block of all matter itself, the atom. The typical atom is about 0.1 to 0.5 nanometers in size. Atoms are so small that even 100 million atoms in a row would stretch a centimeter, about the size of your fingernail. Atoms are so small, yet they are the building blocks of all matter. From buildings, to cars, to quite literally everything around you. And of course, atoms also make up the building blocks of life, cells. A typical animal cell is only 10 to 20 micrometers in diameter, and while they are so tiny, they are responsible for a variety of crucial tasks in the human body. For example, carrying oxygen throughout the body, fighting infection and other diseases, and receiving and sending messages from the body to the brain. Cells make up all forms of life on our planet, from the smallest bugs to the largest mammals, to the beasts in the seas. And of course, they also make us, humans. The greatness of Allah can be seen in all of His animate creation, but also in His inanimate creation. From mountains that rise kilometers into the skies, the skies that are held up with no pillars, and the rivers that flow for hundreds and thousands of kilometers. All these amazing creations held within one of the greatest of all creations, planet Earth itself. Spanning roughly 12,756 kilometers across and home to around 8 billion humans, it is the only home we know, and it is beautiful and massive. But we mentioned earlier that Allah is greater than both the heavens and the earth. So let's continue our journey to Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. Spanning roughly 139,822 kilometers, it has a diameter 11 times that of the earth. In fact, Jupiter is so big, it could fit roughly 1300 earths in it. But Jupiter is still nothing compared to the heart of our solar system, the Sun. The Sun has a diameter of 1.3927 million kilometers, and it would take 1.3 million Earths to fill the Sun's volume. The Sun is massive, beautiful, and crucial to life on our planet, but it doesn't even come close to the largest star in our galaxy, which would be the UY Scuti. The largest known star in our galaxy and one of the largest stars ever discovered in the universe, the UY Scuti is over 1700 times larger than the Sun. By volume, you could fit over 5 billion suns inside UY Scuti, which goes to show just how gigantic this star truly is. Our universe is full of stars like these, and billions of stars come together to form galaxies. Our Milky Way galaxy contains billions of stars, each with their own planetary systems and it spans about 100,000 light years across. To showcase just how incredibly large that is, a light year is the distance light travels in one year. The speed of light is roughly 1.09 billion kilometers per hour, which means that in a year, light can travel as much as 9 trillion kilometers. The Milky Way is 100,000 of those. It is gigantic, and that is an understatement. But the Milky Way is nothing compared to the largest galaxy in our universe, 
the Condor Galaxy, which stretches 522,000 light years from tip to tip. There are billions, if not trillions of galaxies in our universe, each one just as incredible as the other. Together, galaxies can form clusters and superclusters. The one that our Milky Way galaxy is a part of is called the Virgo Supercluster, and it stretches across a region of space that is roughly 110 million light years across. Of course, our universe holds many other wonders, and this video is not enough to cover it all. The observable universe itself spans approximately 95 billion light years in diameter, and it is continuously expanding uniformly in all directions. But what we've discussed so far is just the observable greatness of this world. We have yet to discuss just how great the heavens are. In Islamic tradition, it is believed that there are seven levels of heaven, each one above the other. Allah says that He adorned the lowest heaven with stars, so it is interpreted that the lowest heaven is our universe. The rest of the heavens are different from our universe. It is said that the size of the earth compared to the first heaven is like the size of a ring in a desert. The size of the first heaven compared to the second is like the size of a ring in a desert. And so on until the seventh heaven. It is impossible for us to comprehend just how tremendously large the heavens are and what secrets they hold. But we do know that they are magnificent and vast and Allah has created them in perfect order. Of course, what can be greater than the heavens if not the kursi of Allah? In the Qur'an, Allah says, His kursi extends over the heavens and the earth. Again, we cannot comprehend the magnificence and size of Allah's kursi. And in fact, some scholars even say that the kursi refers to Allah's knowledge rather than an actual kursi. And then we have the throne of Allah, His arsh. Ibn Mas'ud says, between the kursi and the water is a distance of 500 years, and the throne is above the water. Allah is above the throne, and nothing whatsoever of your deeds is hidden from Him. The arsh is the greatest of all things that Allah has created. When our whole universe is located in the lowest heaven, can you even begin to imagine the size of the kursi? And if the kursi extends over the entire universe, then how much greater is the arsh? And of course, who can be greater than the throne, if not the king of the throne himself, Allah? Allah is infinite. He is everywhere all at once. He is in the heavens, but he is also closer to us than our jugular veins. Nothing in the heavens or the earth is hidden from him. He has exact knowledge of everything. He is the one, the singular, who has no peer, no assistant, no rival, no equal, and none are comparable to him. So the next time you hear the phrase Allahu Akbar, remember the greatness of Allah and realize how powerful and how majestic Allah is. Rest assured that no matter how big your problems or worries are, Allah is greater than them and inshallah he will rid you of them. For Allah, it is as simple as saying kun, be, fayakun, and it is.